So, I have Melanie, my wife, Mrs. Truckmaster on the YouTube channel today. We're going to be working together. So, just to get you guys up to speed, this is a 2007.5 LMM 6.6 .6 liter Silverado Duramax diesel. I have the HSP bundle kit, which is basically the cold side charge pipe with that little bracket. As you guys can see, it's connected. It's legit. I'm telling you, it's legit. Grab this pipe. It's going nowhere. That's what you're more concerned about. You don't want these pipes right here to wiggle because you'll blow an o-ring right there in the valley on that y bridge so it's a really great option really really good stuff but anyways so today guys check it out obviously you don't see any exhaust and the biggest reason why there's no exhaust there is because i got a little frustrated and i think you guys can understand why this is a michigan truck um i wasn't i was expecting to cut the exhaust maybe in one section remove everything but i ended up cutting everything off in like six or seven pieces i got a little frustrated the bolts were rusted i couldn't get them off so this wouldn't be like a how-to video i've done numerous how-to videos on how to install exhaust on a duramax especially on an lml uh, i don't know if you guys have watched that youtube video so today we're going to be going with the four inch mbrp exhaust system and this is a race exhaust it's a straight pipe and this will be going on the truck talked about it being a budget build and so far we've got fourteen hundred dollars into this project and performance parts plus the tune i think this truck is going to be a beast i think it's going to easily achieve about a 450 horsepower if not a 500 depending on the, the actual tune a uh, horsepower truck so guys stay tuned till the end of the video we're going to go ahead and fire this truck up for the very first time with an exhaust system So I went ahead and plugged everything on, as you guys can see right here, that would be your muffler delete pipe. It's basically just a section where the muffler should be, but it's not. It's cool, man. I think it's going to look great. It's going to sound great. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this on. You ready? We're gonna have to jack the back end up like I normally do. It gives us a lot more clearance. So if you wanna go ahead and grab the jack right here and then the two jack stands, I'll go ahead and get the exhaust ready to go. I have the easy job. All right, you wanna go ahead and lower it down? That's good. And just put a little bit of tension on that jack. There you go. We have triple security for those of you guys that call us out. <laughs> with no jack stands. I hear it all the time. Even when I have jack stands under there. Where's your jack stands? Where's your jack stands? And they're under there. They just can't see them. <laughs> your, infamous, your infamous cardboard boxes, you know, that you lay on? You should start selling these on your website. <laughs> we really need a lift. For, hmm. a, for a garage. Oh, a lift for the garage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep dreaming. Right. Okay, so. You know what? This is the wrong pipe. It is? Yeah. You need this one? Yeah. I don't know if I can get this apart. You it in, didn't you? We get it apart. Just slide it over here. Alright, I need the, uh, this. And then there should be an extension piece with it, right? Like a this thing right here yeah. where my foot is. Here. I don't need this anymore. That's good. Axle jump time. Alright, so here we go. We have everything plugged in. Now, of course, we have to get the last piece of the puzzle on there. Look familiar? It should look familiar. I put it on my truck. So what she's saying is that goes from a 4 inch to a 6 inch. And here's the wife Max. You guys are probably wondering why I have these small goofy wheels in the front. Well, it's because just for video purposes, like I told you guys in the beginning, we put the 35 inch mud tires on a non-lifted, you know, three quarter ton truck to see how it work and it doesn't. We can't, we can't even move the truck around the driveway because it's just, it just keeps hitting the bumper. That's the same exact exhaust tip. Now we're not going to put an exhaust tip on it. We're going to go ahead and just leave it four inch. I'm really excited. We haven't started the truck up yet, but 
I'll tell you what, I know what you guys are gonna say. It's got the stock downpipe in there and I know we should be upgrading soon. A few upgrades to come for this truck that I would recommend would be a lift pump. Definitely a cold, cold air intake for sure and maybe a race plug and a three inch downpipe. I would say that would pretty much complete this build right here. Uh, but for the most part, we got the meat and potatoes out of the way due to weight reduction, as you guys can clearly tell. All that garbage is completely out of here. So truck's gonna live a lot longer. What are you doing? I heard the chicken wandered in here. <laughs> Getting her out. This should be enough. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start it up for the first time with the exhaust. You want me to do it? Very excited. Just out of curiosity, it definitely changes the tone, doesn't it? That's funny, it does sound different. Put it back in there and then pull it out and see if it's, if it's quieter. Actually, it's quieter with that on. Yeah. Like if you sink it all the way in, that's interesting. Pull it all the way out. It's quieter with that on. took it down the road it's nice and quiet when I drive it down the road you could barely even tell that there's an exhaust on this truck at all however if you really wanted to get on it and actually hear your exhaust you can so you can play with it if you want or if you just want to drive it make it a grandpa truck just you know pull a trailer whatever whatever you got to do with it you could do that as well so so you can have fun with it or just drive it like a normal person that's why I like this right here tow tunes amazing the truck really rips my uh, LBZ would definitely give it its run for its money but you know, I don't know. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. We just put the exhaust on. It sounds great. Uh, again, I did some driving around uh, in cab, really quiet. Sounds super loud, of course, when you get on it. But overall, the build is is complete at this point right here. Again, we need to put a lift pump, maybe a cold side intake on there as well. Maybe a race plug and, you know, a little few odds and ends. But overall, it's not a bad little budget truck right here. And I mean, I, I want to call it right now. I think this truck may be about 20, I'm going to give it about 22 MPGs highway. I, that's, that's what I'm thinking. So, but we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll follow up with you guys on this truck right here. But uh, honey, I do appreciate all your help <laughs> installing the, the exhaust. That was very helpful. It's always nice to have an extra hand. I wish I had three or four sometimes. <laughs> holding the camera or just holding a pipe is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's not easy putting that on by yourself because you got to maneuver all that stuff around so all right guys that is it for this video of course i'm surrounded by duramaxes i, I do want to focus on the on the wife max here shortly we're still we're still waiting on stuff man you know how it is nowadays the truck's not even registered actually so but i'm tempted to just drive it anyway as a matter of fact <laughs> we may do a youtube video i don't know yet drive it somewhere yeah just go take it out on a test drive who cares man? i've been so antsy who too, cares man. it's not even registered Limitation. we have insurance on it okay guys thank you so much make sure you guys subscribe if this is your first time we'll see you guys on the next video stay tuned